Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. Welcome to 12th Avenue Cuisine. What are we doing tonight, Lori? Well, last week we made a delicious vegetarian pizza in our change more. The crust was really crisp but very light and airy. So we want to see whether we can duplicate that or was it just a fluke? All right. <laughs> we'll take it away. Okay. So I have my vegan dough that I made. What I really tried to do last time was uh, not go all the way to the edge. So I'll see if I can do that again. And tonight with the change more, I started the fire with some uh, charcoal for cats and then I've been adding some oak and hickory uh, wood pellets. And right now it's about 780 degrees on the front of the uh, temperature dial at the front of the oven and when I checked uh, about 10 minutes ago uh, the center of the stone was around 420 uh, degrees so we'll see um, we'll see how this works and um, tonight we're going to be using our uh, checkered chef um, it's basically a 13 inch wide uh, uh, pizza peel and then I have the uni turning peel turn the pizza tonight. And so what's so good about this checkered chef? Uh, what is so, one of the Well, features? it's got a foldable handle, so if you're taking your pizza oven along with you and some of your pizza uh, making accessories like your peels, it's a great, in my mind, it's a great peel to have because it uh, packs down a little bit sm uh, smaller. Okay, so. let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this down. So this is a, this was a no cook sauce, a little bit thinner than a sauce that you cooked, but it still has a lot of good flavor. Look. And you made this bigo dough last night, right? Yes. Or during the day yesterday? Well, I started it the night before and I made the dough balls yesterday. And I always put the most, uh, the Parmesan underneath the mozzarella. And why do you do that? Lord? Because the uh, uh, Parmesan has a tendency to burn. And I just shredded this uh, whole milk mozzarella. I think it's a little bit more flavorful than uh, the other. All right, we may not want to put too much weight on this pizza, just. Um... Okay, I will. And tonight we're just using zucchini, uh, green pepper, some green onions. And I think you said we have a vegan uh, pizza coming up soon? Yes, I'm going to try and make my own vegan mozzarella cheese. Let's see how that turns out. Okay. All right, we're about ready to go. Okay, uh, you stay right where you're at. Okay. So you've lightly dusted this uh, peel right. with semolina, right? Mm -hmm. And I just pull on the sides in case it gets mis misshapen, just to make it round again. Okay, we got a successful launch. I'm gonna put that here for a second. And then let me uh, reset this camera that we kind of kicked a little bit. And I'm gonna peek in here. I'll put this down. Yeah, right there would be great.
All right, so it's clearly starting to rise really nicely. And I think I am gonna put this up here. So this is always the critical part of the operation. Have I let the, uh, the base set up enough? And you know what? Right. Gonna put the door back on. I think for a few seconds, uh, just putting the door back on. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rotate it 180, and then I'm gonna work to bring the flame over the top. Okay. Last time when I made the pizza and the change more, I didn't, I rotated the same amount I would in the uni. Here I should rotate 180, I believe. So, clearly we got a nice rise. Okay, that's looking good. And now let's see if we can't, uh, see if we can't bring some And you want to keep an eye on that for a minute? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really puffing up. <laughs> it is. Oh, here comes the plane. Let me see if I can uh, position this camera to get it. Okay. Okay, well, again. Can we put the door on? We don't uh, need to put the door on again? Right? No, we want to bring that flame over the top and oh, that, okay. that won't work that way. Okay. So again, we are the slow pizza cookers. So <laughs> if you haven't noticed by now. Uh, the top's starting to cook. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's getting pretty hot back there. There's a little bit of char that Lori likes. <laughs> what do you think, sweetie? I think it's, it looks like it's there. Okay, it looks like it's there? Yeah. All right, then we're gonna take it out, I think. We can get in this camera or maybe our overhead camera here. But uh, okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut away for a little bit. We're gonna give this a couple of minutes to cool. We're gonna take our Instagram uh, pictures and also put some pictures up on our private Facebook group that you're welcome to join called 
12th Avenue Cuisine Insiders, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. We're going to put it on our, on our board here. And then use our uni rocker blade. Sounds crisp. Mm -hmm. Ah, that looks impressive. Okay, so I'm putting a little arugula. On Lori's going to put a little <laughs> arugula on it. Let's see if we can get this camera up here, maybe to see the rise, and then there's the the bottom. I think it's still pretty hot. Yeah. Mmm. What? Did you show the bottom? I did. Mmm. Perfect, Bill. And it's crisp. Mm-hmm. So... We're on to something here. Our crispest pizzas have come out of the change more wood fired outdoor pizza oven. And it just must be something related to being wood fired. I don't know if it's a drier heat. I, I don't really know what it is yet. We're going to explore some more. Mm -hmm. Whereas when we cook it in the uni, it just seems like it's, it's a softer dough. It's not crispy through and through. But I was very careful not to spread too much of the gas out. So maybe that has something to do with it. Could be. So I think the next uni pizza, I should be more, much more careful about. Good point. We definitely have some additional investigation to do here at 12th mm -hmm. Avenue Cuisine. But uh, this is two that are really, really crispy. But as you said, in the change more, you started to leave, press it out differently so there's more of a rise around it. But uh, you know, the bottom is crispy. So um, clearly cooked. Oh, you must have much more, not much more of a rise from the same dough. Mm hmm. So. Interesting. Well, probably like you say, partly your technique of pressing it out. So, all right. Um, well, this is a smaller pizza. So when I, you know, in the uni, you can make closer to a 14 inch. Mm -hmm. And so maybe when I spread it out, I just send more, so smash a lot of the gas away or something. Mm -hmm. Could be. But clearly, the bigger taste is. Is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Bigger taste is also wonderful in in uni as mm -hmm. well. It's just right. that the we just haven't got it quite as crisp in the uni uh, propane fired uh, Coda 16 as we've been able to get the last two pizzas in the uh, change more wood fired. So you know uh, we'll we'll definitely look into that a little bit more. So all right. Yeah, so we're going to have another pizza coming up. <laughs> Oh yeah, they'll in the always, uni. They'll <laughs> always the, be more the, pizzas. No, yeah. we'll have to do it in the uni just to see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Uh, all right, I think that kind of... Uh, um, by the time you see this video, our uh, baked rotini, our take on baked ziti, we use the rotini noodle, uh, that should be up and available by the time you see this one, so be sure to check that one out. Um, and again, um, you're welcome to join our private Facebook group that Lori and I moderates, 12th Avenue Cuisine Insiders. And really the intent is so you can share with us what you're doing. I mean, we're sharing with you what we're doing, but we're so curious on what you're doing. And again, you don't even have to own a pizza oven. You, if, if you're interested in pizzas or wood, you know, outdoor pizza ovens or making dough or whatever, it doesn't really matter, but we really, have been so curious on what everybody else is doing. And so uh, feel free to post your images 
uh, and other information uh, yeah. on that site. So, anything else? I don't know. Okay, well, uh, again, likes are very important to the channel, so if you like this video, please give that extra effort to hit that like button. Um, what else do we say? Like, share, and subscribe. All right, well, thanks again for dropping into 12th Avenue Cuisine. See you next time. See you next time. Really good. I don't know what it is. I, I have an idea what it is, but I can't prove it, you know? What do you think it is? It's, it's the different type of heat. Instead of the wet propane heat, it's, you know, wood heat that maybe is drier. I don't know. This is a hard wood. I use hickory and I use oak. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know.